So here we are at the Doug and Nikki mobile test studio. If this video looks a little bit like an old Godzilla video where the lip syncing isn't exactly perfect, it is because the audio file corrupted and so I'm having to overdub this, but that also means that I'm gonna give you a little better information, a little more pace where I can sit down and really tell you all about it and don't have to worry about showing it to you at the same time. So let's talk a little bit about the Tireminder i10 RV TPMS, which honestly it's four RVs, but I used to race cars and it would have been a great thing to have with like the trailer for the race cars, any kind of trailer like that that you are towing. There are a couple things that I really like about this. It has an always on display. It's on your dashboard. You can always see what's going on. You can display up to 10 tires simultaneously. And there's an image of the vehicle, which really makes a lot of sense the way they're displayed. It This kit comes with the high powered Rhino signal boost, which I'm gonna show you how to install. It is accurate to plus or minus one pounds, all the way up to 199 PSI, which is crazy cool. It operates while stationary because there are batteries in the sensors. It doesn't require a centrifugal force to uh, have it work. So it is always working. And uh, I think a really nice bonus is they have, this company has lifetime USA based customer support, which is really cool. So the kit can come with anywhere from four to 10 sensors. You just decide which one works best for your application. It all comes with the Rhino Booster and the display, as well as a power supply. Let's go and I'll install it and show you how the whole process works and let you know what I think of the system after the fact. Okay, it is blazing hot out here in Florida today. So I am not gonna crawl under this trailer and do the full install of the repeater but let me show you how it gets installed because it is super simple it's all you got to do is you got to take the cover off of your battery system here you're going to attach the very simply marked we all know red positive black negative you're going to put these alligator clips onto the wires and then you're just simply going to run this repeater back along the chassis you want to be sure to fasten the wire so it's not hanging down, not gonna get caught on anything. So it can pick up the signal from either the vehicle you're towing or your wheels, which are pretty far back from your receiver in your cab. And this way it'll amplify that signal and you'll always have a really strong reading of what your tire pressure and temperatures are. Okay, let's start with the captain obvious stuff. You put the dash mount or you can also mount it to the windshield, whichever works best for you. You put it on the dashboard via a suction cup. We're gonna put the actual device on the mount, plug in the power, and then let's start working through the installation process because there is a little bit of a setup for you to do. Let's set it up now. So this is one of the easiest processes there is. When you turn it on, it displays, obviously, it's not made it up with any of the sensors, so there are no tire pressures sh showing, and it's in the M mode. You see the M at the bottom of the screen, that's monitoring mode. We need to put the device into the learn mode. The way you do that is pushing down on the two top outside buttons for about five seconds, and it'll switch itself into the learn mode as you see. Okay, so the process is super simple. You're gonna take the tire pressure sensor, you're gonna put it on the appropriate wheel for the, sense, for the spot that's flashing on the screen. It's gonna pick up the tire pressure like you see. You press the top right button and you move to the next tire that's flashing. You can toggle them around by those buttons. You'll see it'll move around the ones that are flashing or not flashing. I'm here at my right rear tire now because I'm doing a six tire system, the two rear on the truck and four on the trailer. I'm gonna simply remove the sensor so it zeroes out or if it hasn't been installed, just put it on for the first time. It's gonna pick up the tire pressure. Look at that, fix it up perfectly instantly. We'll press the button and move on to the next one. You're simply gonna repeat this process however it works best for you. You're just gonna select the tire that you wanna be reading on the sensor here. I'm going to switch it around to here, my right rear, because I'm gonna monitor the rear tires on my truck because those are under a lot of stress and the four tires 
which are on the trailer. So this is the first tire in the rear and obviously it's a higher pressure because it's a trailer tire, but that is it. So just repeat all the way around the vehicle. You can customize this to whichever wheels you wanna show up where on your monitor. And again, you can go from four to 10 wheels. I've chosen six because those are the six that I really care about. Here's what they look like when they're all completely done. Real quickly, I'm gonna show you how you can toggle back and forth between this monitor mode and the program mode, which all it involves is pushing down and holding that center button for about five seconds. And it's gonna move you just like that into the program mode. And so here in program mode, you can set things like Fahrenheit or Celsius, or if you want PSI or bar, you can customize how you want it to read. You can also establish alarms for temperature or pressure, whatever setup you need you can configure it right here in this mode. While I play with the settings in the background, I just wanted to share with you some of my experiences with this. I got this system, the fit and finish, the quality is outstanding. It comes with a full set of batteries for all the sensors in addition to spares. So you have two sets of batteries for all the sensors, which is awesome. It is Super intuitive, I mean, you just watched me set it up. You set it up, if you set your tire pressures correctly before you go through this whole process, it automatically sets that as the baseline for where your pressure should be and what it should monitor so you don't even have to go all crazy with those custom setups. And I will tell you as I used it over the course of the time, the visibility of this screen is outstanding as you go down the road, whether it be day or night, it was always spot on in terms of the uh, pressures and that kind of stuff. I did double check them, they were all spot on. I really like this, it, I'm using it, it's amazing. Hey, Nikki's not around, so I'll just say, hey, this is Doug from Doug and Nikki, and we will see you on the road.